I have lots of questions, but I do want to give you a chance, Dr. Collins. I think you were trying to to pass a question to Dr. Fauci about the Wuhan lab. I heard uh, lots of things like could, might, and not out of the realm of possibilities, really hard evidence there. I, I believe there is some white whale uh, narrative changing trying to occur. But if uh, if you wanted to, to have Dr. Fauci answer that briefly, because I do have a lot of questions, I would be glad to give some time up for that. Dr. Fauci, please. So what is the question, Congressman Polkamp, please? What specific question do you want me to answer? Well, I believe the question Dr. Harris was asking is, you know, did we fund COVID-19 my bad? Uh, I'm paraphrasing it because uh, we got five minutes, but that seems to be the new narrative that's out there that somehow um, let's not worry about vaccinating people and getting the economy going. Let's figure out how to somehow say there's a different way this all started. And I'm just kind of curious because I know you've had some interviews on this, but you were asked the question, but not given the opportunity to answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, thank, well, thank you, Congressman Pocan. Let, let me first say that I, I think one of the things that was perhaps uh, um, was the subtext of, of uh, Dr. Harris's question is that why why do any research uh, in collaboration with our Chinese colleagues? Well, the underlying reason for that is that we uh, had a big scare with SARS-CoV-1 back in 2002, 2003 where that particular virus unquestionably went from a bat to an intermediate host to start an epidemic and a pandemic that resulted in 8,000 cases and close to 800 deaths. It would have been almost a, a dereliction of our duty if we didn't study this. And the only way you can study these things is you've got to go where the action is. So I often say somewhat tongue in cheek, you don't want to study bats in Fairfax County, Virginia, to find out what the animal-human interface is that might lead to a jumping of species. So we had a modest collaboration with very respectable Chinese uh, uh, scientists who are world experts on coronavirus. And we did that through a sub-grant from a larger grant to EcoHealth. The sub-grant was about $600,000 over a period of five years. So it was a modest amount. And the purpose of it was to study the animal-human interface to do surveillance and to determine if these bat viruses were even capable of transiting infection to humans. And the question arrived, did you do gain-of-function research? And as Dr. Collins clearly articulated, there was nothing in the grant application and or granting of the purpose of the grant and the description of the grant that would call for what is referred to as gain-of-function. Gain of function meaning taking a virus that could infect humans and making it either more transmissible and or pathogenic to humans. That categorically was not done. So that's the answer to that question. The funding uh, for the, sorry, let me find this here. That uh, funding was uh, about 17 million dollars was uh, directed to Echo Health Alliance, and uh, rather than $600,000, uh, much of that was sent to the Wuhan lab. Uh, can you account for the $17 million that was uh, allocated to Echo Lab and speak to the uh, disparity in the, in the amounts that you're discussing, Dr. Fauci? Yeah. Congressman Klein, uh, it is absolutely correct that about 600,000, about 800,000 was was allocated, and about 600,000 was spent over a five-year period. No more than that. That comes to anywhere between 125 and 150 thousand dollars per year that went to the collaboration with Wuhan. So the number of hundreds of thousands, as opposed to millions, is correct. The millions number is incorrect. EcoHealth had several millions. I don't know the exact amount that went to EcoHealth, but would be happy to get you that precise number. I see it now. 